Hey A-Train, what's the latest and greatest with Sim Airport? That's a fine question you ask viewer. Stick around and find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, it's not like there's not dumps or garbage bins right here. Oh, it has an A320 in the morning. We will accept that. Let's go ahead and start dropping these in here. So Aero Time, it's going to be 0600, gate A1. Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you, and a happy new year from me and the gang here at the channel. Welcome back to what will be now the new Season 2 of Sim Airport. Well, A-Train, you started like a Season 2 back in December. Well, that's an astute point you make there, viewer. Here's why we're restarting Season 2 and we're taking a mulligan. I got a new computer, in case you haven't seen or heard the news or watched another video yet. Uh, so, let's take a look at the settings I'm using here on the new Super Herky. Uh, let's go to menu, let's go to options, graphic settings, weather effects on, full screen mode on, 1920 by 1080 HD. Quality, fantastic. UI scale, 100%. I could actually scale that down too. That would be smaller. I kind of like that. Let's go smaller. Check it out. Uh, this is a new user interface for the game. Uh, it, it looks fairly familiar. Uh, just some of the, the UI is a little different. I mean, up here you got pretty much the same information. Your bank balance. You click on it, it pulls up your loan stuff. Passenger satisfaction, you click on it and nothing happens. That's different. Um, that information's down here. I think they're working on like a whole new uh, setup for this. Plus, we have no packs at the moment anyway. Uh, airline interest. That's new, and if you click on it, it brings up your flight management schedule. Um, and then your sim weather channel brings up the weather forecast, all that good stuff, which this is part of your operations tab. We'll get into that in a second. Here's the clock control, which looks kind of fancy, you know, with the pause play button and then the speed controls and the time and status and day. Down in the bottom right, this is a new little UI. Like I said, PAX AI decisions. Here's your sector displays. It lets you see what everything is. Uh, here's your secure area display. PA speakers are a new feature to the game. Uh, we'll get into that at a later time. It requires a chief technology officer, which is a new feature as well. Uh, then you got environmental heat map and information heat map. Okay, that used to be under uh, operations or something over here. So um, we've got uh, the build status uh, build button here. You can search. Uh, this is all. This is construction, which is all your flooring. I mean, your basics are up top here. Clear, demolish. This is all the same. Fencing, foundation, taxiway direction tool allows you to assign directions to your taxiways to better control traffic flow. But you've got to research construction and research operations. Uh, asphalt runway, taxiway, concrete runway. Um, there's now you can control the maintenance on these because they they do uh, wear over time uh, and we'll look at that in a bit then you got flooring that's all the same and then I'm not sure why road sidewalk and walls are still here at the bottom oh and ramp as well which costs nothing it's just aesthetic it's really just to fill in the space around this small gate because it takes up the same space as a medium gate they just put grass on either side of it, which to me seems kind of goofy, but, you know, that's okay. All right, so there's uh, there's your construction tab. Let's go to the objects tab here. Aircraft gates, okay. So you got small, small, small. Then you got, I guess, medium and extra large, which is large. Okay. Uh, apparel stand, ooh, that's new. You buy stuff. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Carousels. Bar. Large and small. Uh, there's benches. There's body scanners. Chairs. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, cookers. Uh, there's decorative statues. Those are kind of new. Uh, fancy chairs. Electronic vending. Food vending. 
Uh, let's see, holiday trees and stuff. There's your uh, newsstand. That's kind of cool. Pizza joint. That's cool. Phone charger station. Here's your uh, light poles. That's new. PA speakers. Phone charger station. Pizza joint. That's all new. Uh, remote security station. That's new. Remote bag, bag scanner. Snack kiosk. around. Staff doors. So only staff can pass through those. Sushi kiosk. Hey, now we're talking. Um, ticketing stuff. A toilet stall. So now they got stalls. Toolbox locker, uh, which is for your maintenance folks. And then some trees. All right, cool. Objects. Got it. Uh, zones are under here, but they're also under here. So if you click on here, it takes you to zones. Basically the same menu. And then you can click on other stuff. Utilities are under here, which uh, has a demolish. Demolish. Your conveyor lines, your baggage stuff, and then your fuel stuff. And then uh, show wires. Uh, has to do with how everything electronically is hooked up for your PA system. All right, we'll dig into that later. Here's your cues. Okay, so expand cues, shrink cue, and visualize cue. Okay, so you make cue bigger, make cue smaller, and see cue. All right, uh, and then planning. Here's your planning tool that used to be out here by itself. Uh, now it's all under this one tab right here. All right, very good. Uh, and then have, you have a search capability here. All right, zones pulls that same menu back up. Staff, hire, manage, kiosk scheduling. That's um, that's a new feature. So you can have your kiosks open, you know, for set hours. This was something a lot of people were requesting. Uh, so you may have, you know, coverage some from say 4 a.m. to uh, say 10 p.m. because you know your last flights are going to be scheduled to land at 10 p.m. and you know by that point everybody ought to be at the gate and ready to go so that's a good thing um, let's see what else we got here um, so you click on that close it back down here's your finance hub you got research bank loads CFO blah 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 that's uh, same screen you get whoops not there here bank balance so that's that same screen all right, what else we got here? We got uh, research, which is a little more of a research tree here. Construction, so it hires a construction foreman. You have CFO, operations, which is COO, and then you got CTO, Chief, Chief Technology Officer. Uh, so CTO and construction foreman are the new things. Uh, that's what you're required for maintenance and runway intersections. Then you have advanced security, advanced ticketing, and fuel ports. Advanced ticketing allows you to assign aircraft gates to specific ticketing desks. This is something else a lot of people had requested, um, which allows you to, say, have gates for Sparkjet. And then you can have specific ticketing desks for Sparkjet. All right? So it ties in. Uh, finance, everything kind of comes down here. Pricing is the first thing I think you should unlock. You research finance, and then you build an office, hire a CFO, and then you research pricing. That's the first thing you should do, uh, because that's how you start making more money from the get-go. All right. And let's see, operations control panel. Here's runways. It tells you 0927. It handles arrivals. It handles departures. Crosswind max speed is 12 knots. That seems a little low. Uh, it's active for arrivals and departures. Um, curious, it doesn't indicate PAPI or ILS or lighted. Maybe that's coming or maybe that'll show up. Uh, okay, here's commercial pricing, transports and deliveries, fuel services. It says all kinds of stuff here. I haven't messed with fuel yet, so that'll be a new adventure. All right, uh, then you got your maintenance stuff. So here's your maintenance window, midnight to 4 a.m. Uh, it's allowed during the daily maintenance window, specified above. Out, objects at or below their maintenance thresholds will be repaired. While undergoing repair, objects are temporarily out of service for use. Regular maintenance is most cost effective, but hinders airport operations. Um, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You got to repair your runways, your aircraft gates, toilets, urinals, bag scanners, and body scanners. 
and you got to have maintenance to unlock this. And then there's the weather forecast, which we also can access up here. All right, brings up that same menu. This is showing the wind speed, jumps up to 14 knots from the east. Okay, so this is going to give you an idea of what the wind speeds are expected to be through the day. Uh, and then it shifts around to the southeast, then it goes to the north and the northeast. So there it drops really low, uh, but it's a crosswind. Uh, and then you have 16 knots out of the south, and it drop, comes back to the south. That's weird. Okay, whatever. It's, uh, it's different. It's new. Uh, and then there's a chance of precipitation here, here, and here. Very good. Uh, flight management. This is the new flight schedule. And uh, so you see your airlines over here. Your current rating with those airlines. Signing bonus. Uh, early AM. So it looks like we'll be able to take flights between midnight and 6 AM now. AM. 0600 to noon. A.N., okay, afternoon is noon to 6 p.m., and then your p.m. flights are 6 p.m. to midnight. All right, very good. So that's that's nifty, and then it shows you when the flights are set up for. There's their uh, bonuses. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's see what Pacific Airlines has going on. Here's their sensitivities, deals and negotiations, flight contracts. They've got puddle jumpers, uh, arrive afternoon, night, night, departure slots, any. Uh, small runways, 90, or small gates, and 90 uh, unit runways. You can accept the flights there. You can accept any or all. We want the Airbus A320s. We don't want the Beechcraft. I'd shy away from those. Let's look at uh, Atlantic International. See, they're sensitive to airport and runway usage prices, which we can't jank around with until we hire a C uh, CFO and research pricing. Um, they're offering an E-195 Embraer regional jet in the afternoon. That's going to be this guy right here. Then they have 737s, which we like. And the A320s, they have 707s and 76s. All right, so that's how that looks. And finally, there's flight status, which this used to be a button down here as well, down in this corner. And so that's arrival and departure scheduled, and then actual arrivals and departures. All right, so there is a look at the upgraded, updated, latest and greatest in the user interface aspect of Sim Airport. How's the gameplay, A Train? Well, that's a fine question. Let's um, let's do this. Do we want to take the career airport for a spin? New airport sharing mods. New game. Start new game. Career mode. Uh, we'll do it on the. Okay, medium map. I guess difficulty normal. That's you can't change those. Tutorials not available yet. Start from scratch. Off on. Uh, we'll start with the career airport. This is a nifty new loading screen. We're going to position the mouse right up here in the corner, though. And click. Boom. Paused. All right, so we paused it right at the start. All right, if you've watched my previous videos, then you know how this is pretty much going to go because we're going to stick with the same, uh, same recipe for success. Uh, you can see the toilet stalls in the restrooms now. So that's neat. Okay. Uh, security looks pretty much the same as it did. Baggage claim, ticketing, garbage, drop-offs. So uh, everybody's making a break for their um, their location. And so we hit zones, hit none, back this up, and dezone everything. Why did you dezone everything, A train? Well, because. Um, we have things we want to do here, all right? Like move deliveries to this spot right here. That looks like a good spot.
like that. Uh, and then we're going to set up our um, storage behind the fence. We'll make a say an eight by eight storage area. Uh, and then we'll put a garbage area, I guess, right here. Seven by eight. That's good. That'll do for now. Uh, okay. And we're going to leave out the uh, pickups and drop-offs zones right now because um, maintenance supplies. Oh, goody. So we'll deal with that later, too. Uh, we're also getting the, hello, you requires drop-offs and pickups. Well, tough cookies. They don't have to have it right now. So we're going to deal with that. Uh, while we got zones up, let's go ahead and dezone this space over here and this space over here. Let's see, run that down like about cha. Take that out. Take a bit of that out. Um, let's see here. And then, uh, of course, one of the first things we do is we're going to build a bypass for the security. Uh, to allow people to exit and so let's see let me right click that for a second let me look at the security setup here so we're going to need one one two three for the bag then you gotta have a you guys skip a space and then the um, x-ray machine will be right here then we want one more tile so we could actually take one more tile off of security and we'd be good. Okay, very good. Of course, that's going to freak out now because it's not in the security zone. Well, too bad. All right, so uh, for construction, we'll do foundation. This is going to be our little exit, and we need two tiles for it for the width. So we got to go three, and then we're going to go a little bit beyond there. So $15,000, that'll do. We'll commit that to building. Um, and what else do we want to do? Because we're on a limited budget, I, I don't think we're going to go terribly crazy. Um, we're going to dismantle some objects. It's going to be these guys. We're going to dismantle this. We're going to move it. And, um, oh, you know what? Oh, we won't deal with that for now. We'll make pretty stuff later. Um, what else? Let's go to objects. We're not going to deal with an ATC tower until we are making money because we can schedule 10 flights uh, without having to upgrade, you know, and, and get a tower. That gets pretty pricey. Uh, for now, we are going to put in a medium hanger. So we'll rotate that and we'll put that right down about here. We could put it right here. Put that there. Okay. Uh, in baggage claim, we'll put in a uh, baggage carousel, and we'll go ahead and rotate that direction. We can't put it up against the wall, uh, but this will do right about there. And we'll add that in. Oh, something else we want to add in, we always do this, and that's to put in some outdoor gates. We'll rotate those and put those in maybe here and right here. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I think what we'll do is hire some new workmen. I'm not sure where they appeared. Okay, I guess they appeared right there. Well, that gives us eight. So that'll be 10. All right, and let's uh, hit it here and get everybody moving. All right, now once those folks in security, see all the security stuff now, now that that's done, all right, they're building that up and they're gonna get working on that. Uh, we're gonna pause real quick and we're going to reestablish security. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is rotate this around and put in two x-ray machines because we'll have to order a second one. Uh, we're going to rotate and put in an ID check stand there and there. And then we're going to scroll up here. Get a bag scanner. 
and you can't put it up against oh wow I put I, I accidentally put a gap in there huh um all right well let's put this here and this here and we'll cancel those projects we'll hit go again so we should get the uh, the parts delivered though bag scanner gate agent desk ID check stand metal detector um, what am I looking for metal detector yeah metal detectors okay so the metal detector now has been moved into storage so we have it in inventory all right let's pause right there let's go back to metal detector go uh, we're gonna rotate it around and we're gonna put it here so you can't put it up against you used to be able to put it right there but you can't anymore all right so what that does is that gives us that one space all right so we're gonna go to construction we're gonna clear these two uh, wall spaces here and then we're gonna go back to objects and put in our uh, security exits these and we will rotate those so that the red green button is to the right and the red button is to the left. All right, very good. We'll get those built real quick. Uh, we can put our gate agent desk back in place. That's going to go right there. It could probably go one square further back. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, and then uh, back to construction, we will clear these two tiles out here, and that will allow the passengers to flow out through the security exit and then towards bag claim and out the front door. Uh, didn't I hit go? There we go. All right, very good. So that gets things kind of started. Okay, this is freaking out because we've got to assign it to that gate. All right, and then we've got a uh, got a gate. See here, it says the maintenance condition, it's one hundred percent. Let's go to utilities. Uh, let's look at putting a baggage depot in here. Now, so here we come in with the baggage thing, which we know is you know been the bane of some people's existence. I get it, believe me, I get it. Um. What I think I want to do here, I'm trying to plan for the future. What kind of ducks under there? We can close that. There, that gets it out of the way. Trying to plan for the future. And so, this would take one over here. Set up two. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this initial setup is not going to give us the ability to expand um, let me think here. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it does. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, so I'm just trying to get, uh, let's get that lined up right across there, move that across there, do, 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 do. and we're going to put that uh, baggage depot, or chaw, uh, so it'll be between the two gates, and we got to hook all that stuff up, so so we can hook up the, the blue arrows to the blue arrows, right, straight across ticketing, we're going to run straight across to here, boom, and then we can put more ticketing desks in there, all right, that's easy. Now, to hook up the baggage depot, we're just going to go up and over one. And here we're going to go up, boom, and over one, pink to pink. Uh, oh, yeah, that's where this gets hanky. Because this is going to tie into another. Okay, so we're going to have to put in another depot. And this is going to be our expansion depot. All right, so this is where things will uh, tie off of for future expansion. All right. I'm going to turn it this way. I just, again, want to kind of keep these nice and neat. Um, 
I don't want it to have to run very far. Well, let me think here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's good. All right. Um, you know what? We're, we're going to put this down this way. We'll put it in line with this. What the hell? All right. So that will put that in line. Yeah, that's in line. Okay, so get everything lined up here. Oh, you know what? It'd probably be easier if I just ran these conveyors like this and then kind of ran this conveyor like this. Then I could get an idea where this baggage hub needs to be, right? That would make sense. All right, so this guy needs to be here like that. And then we will just connect this the rest of the way. This here. All right, and then this hub. Oh, A. Yeah, that. Uh, there we go. Goes across to there. Boom. And this will be where the next uh, hub uh, hooks up. Wherever I put that. And now I could always change that if needed. All right, so this is a hub to hub connection. Green to green is hub to hub. These guys can connect the future hubs. All right? So that ties all the baggage together. That's all good. Uh, this thing will need a cart, we'll assign a vehicle, add a baggage cart. Great. There we go. Alrighty. So ticketing's hooked up, baggage claim, all the baggage systems hooked up. We can roll on with that real quick. Another thing we're going to want to do is upgrade the, the uh, runway with runway lights. You know what? I'm also a bucket head. Let me uh, do that and let's get into research. Finance. Go. Boy. Wasted four hours on that. Oops. Uh, okay. So there we go. These guys are going to build out our uh, baggage system. Oops. Had my phone sitting at an angle leaning up against my laptop there so I could keep an eye on the time. And I've already kind of blown through the time I was going to spend on this video, but that's okay. We get to spend a little more time together. All right. So let's go back here and go to utilities. Now we can see what's going on with the underground construction here. See, we're getting charged for bus service even though we're not arriving and departing any passengers yet. That's a little hinky to me. Um, so that all gets hooked up. Oh, you know what? While they're doing that, let's... Um, right, it's starting to rain. Let's set up some queues. Expand queue. Uh, we're going to start this one right here. Let's go here. Come across to here. Oh, look, there's some funky colors there. A train, what's that all about? Good question, viewer. Let's explain. Oh, nope, it's got to go there. And then you got to go here. Okay, so there. All right, so visualize queues. That's great. All right, let's pause this. Ticketing desk, assigned to. All right, look here. Uh, there, I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, passenger, uh, passengers coach, passengers first class, and flight crews. Passengers coach, now watch. This here, watch this. Coach is yellow. Okay, the dot means it's on. The yellow arrow means they are accepted in that line. First class is blue. Flight crews are purple. All right, you don't need uh, flight crews to check into ticketing. All right, so we can close that. We can assign this to here. Okay, so now this is assigned for both these. Uh, then we can set up a expand a queue, and we can draw that line there, and draw this to here, and go here, and go here, and go here. All right, and then with this one, we can do the same process. It's just assign to, uh, turn off flight crews. So we could have one be coach. So like that one could be coach, and then this one could be first class. And that's how it works. All right, easy peasy. Uh, we'll go ahead and set up both for both. Okay. And that's going to assign. And there we go. Close.
ticketing desk. Nope. We're good. All right. So there's uh, there's how you set up the, the new deal with ticketing. And actually, let's expand that zone. We're just going to expand it down this way because um, I want to put in some of the um, ticketing kiosks. Oops. Uh, objects. Ticketing kiosks are down here. I think they come under, is it ops? Yep, taking in kiosks. Okay. All right, uh, let's rotate those. And let's put a couple of them, maybe three, right there. All right, very good. The other thing we can do, oh, is uh, set up queue lines for security real quick. So let's go to queues, expand queue. Now, security is a little different than it was before. Um, let's see. So we're going to add queue. Let me see how I want this to work. All right, you know what? We're going to do this. Five. There. Back here. Up here. We'll see. That may fill up really quick, like. Uh, and then we'll expand Q here. All right. We're going to go to six. Let's uh, let's shrink this Q down here real quick. Remove Q, and then we'll expand. Oops, nope. Expand Q to here, over to here. This will make it 18 tiles. All right. Now. We're going to assign the ID check stands to the queue lines. Now, this queue line, we're going to have coach passengers, okay? And this queue line, we're, just, we're going to have first class and flight crews, okay? And this one, we're going to assign to both, all right? So, there we go. Uh, so, this is coach only. This is first class and flight crews because flight crews do have to check through security now. And then they come over to the gate, all right? You do not have to set up the queue line here for flight crews either. They're just going to board the aircraft when they need to board the aircraft, all right? Uh, so security is the only place you need to have flight crews set up, all right? So we'll do this queue here. Da -da -da, da -da 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 da 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 Da, da, da. Um, we'll do this for now. We'll come back later and change it. Uh, okay, so there's uh, that queue line, and then we'll assign to this queue line. We do not have to have flight crews and close. Okay, there's our basic terminal, guys and gals. Um, from a planning perspective, you've seen my videos before. You know what we're going to want to do eventually is build this area out. Of course, the green line, that's the end of it. You can't build into that space because that's part of the ramp. Um, we're going to want to get rid of these restrooms and then build new secure area restrooms up in this area. Uh, that way we've got all this space for seating for this gate A1 because then we'll get it, add gate A2 here. And we don't want A1 people over here, right? So we will uh, we'll knock that out in the next episode. And we'll add in some tile here and here, make that pretty. And that should do for now. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and zip through that. We'll get the delivery on. And uh, I think we've already got lights on the runway. Oh, wait a minute. Why? Oh, this is not assigned to uh, a gate. So we assign that to the gate. Boom, now that's good and that's happy. All right. And we close and that's it. Okay, so everything's set for us to start accepting flights, right? Oh, except <laughs> uh, we don't have uh, the drop-offs and pickup zones. So we'll put the drop-offs right here in front of ticketing. And we'll do the pickups down here. All right, boom. So now that will be happy. 
requires pickups. We got pickups, so we're good. All right, and we should, let's see, be pretty close. 3.9 hours left on finance. Well, that's a neat little clock thing. Let's watch that for a second. 3.8, 3.7. Look at it ticking around. That's cool. Cool stuff. All right. Of course, we're going to need to set up an office for our uh, CFO when they get on site. So we could go ahead real quick and do foundation. And if we want a three by three office, right? So that's one, two, three tiles by one, two, three tiles. You have to have a five by five space. Okay. So that gives you walls around it, right? So you got wall, one, two, three wall, right? So if we want to put that office here, this wall counts. All right. So we need to go five across and we just need to go, whoops, we can't, that's blocked by that. Uh, by the hanger. So we're just going to go five across and four up because we'll put the door in the existing wall. All right. So that will allow, whoop, wait a minute. I didn't go five across. There we go. Now it's five across. All right. So the actual office space will be this area right here. And then this will be walls around the office. Okay. Very good. All right. Uh, one last thing we can do here real quick while that's uh, goofing around. Let's look at our flight management and see who's got flights for us. We're getting into the evening hours. Um, Aerotime has flights. They're offering up. Let's see what we got. And let's pause real quick. 7.37 in the morning. We'll accept that. That's nice. 7.37 at night. We'll accept that. That's good. All right, so that gives us two flights pending. Ah, oh, look here. See how they're sitting in the pending time? That's very cool. Oh, look, and they're color-coded, too. How about that? All right, that's awesome. Uh, okay, Aerotime uh, Pacific. Oh, has an A320 in the morning. We will accept that. All right, let's go ahead and start dropping these in here. So Aerotime, it's going to be 0600, gate A1. We're going to shorten it to 90 minutes on the gate. We know initially the aircraft are going to be coming in half empty, half full, so they're not going to take a whole lot of time. So then we'll set this in here, drop it down. And see how it uh, arrives 0830, departs 0930, changes take effect tomorrow. Terminate right click, extend boarding time, hover over the edge, resize. Okay. Uh, this arrow time uh, 73, we're going to go ahead and put it back to the back end. Wait a minute, let's see what we can do here. Requires night arrival time slot. I, I get that. Ah, oh, geez, this is. Right at the edge of the screen here, the the yeah. See, we can do this all the way up to midnight. I like it. All right, let's just put it right there for now, and it's at 90 minutes. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, a Ford Air. What you got? Ooh, seven threes in the afternoon. I like that, and at night. So let's accept uh, one afternoon, one night for now. Let's get those on the schedule. So the afternoon starts at noon. Well, that was weird. Okay, so there there we go. And then we'll move this one over, and we're going to drop it in at 8. Now, see, it's at 745. So you kind of got to watch visually where that, that winds up plunking down there. There we go. Now, that's at 8 o'clock. Uh, so we know we also have, we have another 7.3 in the afternoon we can take for them. Let's see what Union Air has to offer. Beechcraft 1900. No, thank you. Please drive through. Aerostar, what you got? 7.37 in the afternoon. I like it. We will accept the 7.3. We will drop that in the afternoon slot at 1,400. Shrink it down. Uh, that leaves another uh, afternoon arrival, I believe, from a Ford Air we can put in. That's it. All right, that's, that's what we've got. So we'll go back to a Ford Air. We have a 7.3 in the afternoon. We're going to accept that. And we're going to drop it over here in the 1,600 uh, time slot. Drop it down. Okay. Now let's see what it does here. If I move this over, see it puts them back to back. All right. So it's giving you a master idiot alert saying, hey, you don't want to have those two aircraft on the gate at the same time. And there we go. There's our initial schedule for day one of flight operations. We got a six o'clock arrival, eight o'clock, noon, two, four, eight, 
and 10 o'clock. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flights for the first day. That looks pretty good. Okay, I think we're going to call a halt right there. And uh, I'm going to just start running this ahead. So next time, we'll look at the little spotlight. Isn't that cute? Uh, next time, we will uh, get into our first day of flight operations here at the airport. Oh, you know what? Because we're going to need to add some security too. Let's, uh, let's add three security staff. There's three new security personnel, and we're going to hire an extra janitor. So, all right, that should take care of everybody. All right, the other thing we will do uh, as we roll into the night, we don't have any creature comforts built in right now, like benches or anything and trash cans. Uh, we'll work on that as well. Uh, maybe change out a little bit in the uh, restrooms. We'll see. But uh, that's going to do it for this episode of Sim Airport. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like. We appreciate it. Uh, Share with your friends. Let them know about the latest and greatest going on with Sim Airport, now available on Steam. Link in the description below. And subscribe to the channel for more great HD 60 FPS high resolution content to come. Really excited about the new machine and what we can do with it here on the channel. It's been a long time coming, and uh, it's here. So, super stuff. Thanks for stopping by, gang. We appreciate you. Like, share, and subscribe. And come back for our next Let's Play episode. I'm A-Train, it's over, and I'm out.